because now it's time to slice the brisket. Now this brisket has has been resting for a, a couple of hours. As you can see, there, you, you may be able to see there's some of um, some of the juice is still on there. I like to divide and conquer, but since this is such a small brisket, I'm just going to start off at the uh, flat end. This is uh, that way. This is where all the lean part is. I'm going to go against the grain. If you look at your brisket, the fibers are going to be going one of two ways. You always want to, if the fibers are going this way, you always want to cut against. That'll give you a nice, um, tender, tender uh, type of feel to your brisket. Since the grain is coming this way, I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting this way. Now, what I, I normally do is I just normally use an electric knife, but I went ahead and I pur purchased one of these uh, carving knives, and they work out pretty good as well. You just keep on cutting against the grain just to give you uh, an idea of what we're working with right there if you look at that of course this bottom part you can trim that off this is all the fat part of it you can go ahead and trim that off but just by grabbing this this will indicate how uh, how tender it is just pulls apart all right. Now, at some point, what I'm gonna, what you're gonna notice is that the the meat is going to have two different. Um, it's gonna be going two different ways. So that's when I would actually separate. At this point, that's when I would separate the the top part from the bottom part. Right. So this is why I wanted to stop and show you this. Um, this brisket is cut into two different. Uh, well, the meats are in two different ways. Notice the grain is coming this way on this part, but on the bottom part, they're starting to look different. If you start continue cutting your brisket like this, it'll be very tough to try to pull apart. See, uh, there's a little bit, bit of brisket that's trying to, it's kind of hard to pull apart compared to this side where you just pull on it, okay? So what you need to do there is you actually need to go in there and uh, separate these two so you can cut them the right way so that you don't have that, that issue, okay? so. Let me remove this from I here. I actually like to, if possible, stand it straight and then try to cut down at an angle and divide the brisket. I mean, it's not gonna be a perfect, perfect slice, but you'll get it, the majority of it, you'll get it uh, separated so that you can actually cut it the, the proper way. So then you just continue slicing against the grain. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish slicing this one up. I will come back and I'll show you the other method of cutting this brisket, which would be the, the chopped method. All right, so the next method that, that you can use in order to chop up your brisket is uh, kind of like, I like to call it the divide and conquer method. So what this does is, it just makes it easier for you to, uh, to handle the brisket. When you get this out of the, you know, the cooler, Sometimes it's still going to be a little hot, so just be careful. Uh, divide and conquer means divide it in half. Now, in order to get the desired effect on a chopped brisket, for let's say chopped brisket sandwiches, you might uh, you want to use a cleaver, a meat cleaver. All right, I'm going to show you what that looks like. You don't have to use one of these, but it does come with a little bit of weight on it, so it helps out a little bit in in cutting the meat. Now. One of the things that you just have to be aware of is you're going to want to try to you're going to want to try to chop it up all at once. You want to take it in, in steps so that way it doesn't seem like too much. So a cleaver looks kind of like this. All right. So what you want to start off with, and if I can, I'm going to move this over to a plate. for now what you want to do here is you're gonna go and you're gonna chop this way and if you can either turn this or turn your your cutting board and then chop this way and then chop at all different angles because the whole point is that it's supposed to be like a random chop it's not supposed to be uniform like slices so you just kind of and what I mean you don't you don't want to try to Cut all the way through. Don't try to go all the way through on, on the first hit. This is kind of like a, a beginner. Here you're starting off here. And once you get a little bit of a rhythm, you see how 
it starts to take shape. So now I'm going to go the op the another direction. All right, then you want to move the meat around because the bottom part is going to be where your bark is from the other one. So you want to you want to chop that up as well. And the whole really the the main main point here is that you want to go at different angles so that it doesn't just go all to one angle. It really doesn't take too much. The more you, the more you chop it, the finer the, uh, the brisket is gonna get. It just depends on your consistency. If you want it more coarse, you, want it, you might wanna stop. If you want it uh, in smaller uh, pieces, you just keep going until you reach your desired, uh, your desired consistency. I mean, there you go. I mean, it doesn't take too much. And look at all that brisket that came out of that one piece. I'm going to go ahead and continue chopping up all my other briskets. I do appreciate you guys joining and, and uh, viewing my uh, videos. If you do have any questions, please leave them on the comments below. I will try my best to um, get back to you guys. But if you follow this method, you will have no problems making your own brisket where people are going to be wanting it uh, from you. Once again, thanks for watching, and if you like my channel, please subscribe.